What's going on everybody, JC here with you again, bringing you another edition of JC's Tech. And today we have a very special package from a company called Satchel Satchel. Yeah, so they, uh, as you can as infer from the name, they specialize in bags and other uh, accoutrement, but they actually specialize in high quality handcrafted leather. So these aren't just your plain run of the mill bags, they're actually high quality hand stitched leather uh, bags and accessories. And today they've sent me a couple of phone cases. So we're gonna take a, ooh, look at that, fancy packaging here. Oh, look at that, thank you, 15% off, awesome. Be sure to use that. All right, now these cases are for, well, actually, let's see if you can guess. Look at that canvas bag, very nice, oh my gosh. All right, so this is actually a belt holster for the, can you guess? The BlackBerry logo probably gave it away. That's right, these are for the BlackBerry Key 1. That's right, these are belt holsters for the BlackBerry Key 1. This is a natural tan leather is what they call it, and this one over here, what do we got? Bam, ooh, this is so pretty. This is their brown leather holster, and so this one is like a belt loop, and this one is a belt clip, so this probably rotates. <laughs> look at that. Excuse me. So we got a belt clip in the brown leather, and we got a, uh, excuse me, belt loop in the brown leather, and a belt clip in the tan leather. And these are both holsters, so if we go ahead and pop this bad boy open, ooh, got a little bit of foam, bye-bye foam. And let's just see how well it fits. It just, ooh, slides right in there, ooh, ooh nice. And then you just um, you know, put this on your belt and you are ready to rock and roll for an entire day with your Key One looking sexy in its holster right here. Now, there's a back pocket right there for your phone, but it looks like there's even a front pocket up here, maybe for some credit cards or cash or something, maybe else, whatever you else need to put up there. Business cards, business cards, business cards is probably what it's for. So there's that and let's just take a look at the other one and ooh, yep, more phone, bye bye phone. Ooh, just for, for poops and giggles, let's see how it fits in here. Ooh, that fits nice. Just very nice, very nice. Yeah, so same fit on both of them. Looks like same uh, front leather pouch right here for business cards, credit cards, what have you. Um, but that's a very, very basic introductory look at the holsters for the BlackBerry Key 1 from Satchel Satchel. Uh, I'm gonna dive in a little bit deeper, kind of show you a little bit more about the cases, and uh, maybe show you how they wear over a week or so, but I'm really interested to see how they wear over a couple of months because leather just wears oh so nicely. So I'm really excited to get with these guys. Uh, but I'm gonna give you a little deeper look, so uh, let's dive in. As you can see, the design and build quality of these cases is top notch. Every case is handmade by the leather workers at Satchel Satchel, and it shows. The craftsmanship is gorgeous. The color options I was sent are the brown and the natural tone color. Both are exceptional. I'm more partial to the brown myself, but the natural tone will age and wear beautifully over time, so I'm excited to see how that one turns out six months from now. The button clasp on the front is simple and elegant and holds everything together quite well without being too hard to open. And yeah, the pocket on the front is perfect for business cards or even a credit card or some cash. You won't be able to get too much in there though as the pocket is pretty tight, so you're limited to either just a few business cards or one loan credit card. I will also say that because the pocket is a bit tight, it's a little tough getting items out of the pocket as well. Hopefully that loosens up over time, but initially it might be a little annoying. The key one fits very nicely into the holster, and after some initial snugness, the leather loosened up a bit and now the phone sits quite comfortably in the case. At first I had to pull a little harder than I wanted to to get the phone out, but now it's a breeze. I also never worry about the phone falling out. Basically, it's a very well designed case. As for the belt clip and the belt loop, yeah, they work. I mean, there's not really much else to say there. I will say though that this holster is large. The Key One is not a small phone, and with this thing on your hip, there's just no way it's not conspicuous. The black color might blend in a little better, but the tan and brown ones will definitely stand out. Of course, depending on what you're wearing. And it may not necessarily stand out in a bad way, but people are gonna notice. That's really the only not so great thing I have to say about the design. But that's not really the company's fault because the Key One is already a big device, so they're just working with what they have. It's still a very beautiful and well-designed case. I'm personally not much of a holster guy, but that's just me. There are plenty of people out there who love holsters, and this case will be wonderful for them. Now we come to the hard part of this case, the price. At $118 for the belt loop version, the belt clip will set you back another $10, this is definitely the most expensive Key One case I've seen, and probably one of the most expensive phone cases I've ever seen. And you pay for shipping too. So what do you get for that price? Incredible design, 
a little bit of added functionality, and durability. This leather is going to last you for years, which is also something to consider when purchasing a case. If you like what you've seen, and you want a beautiful way to show off your key one, then you will absolutely love this case. If, however, you want a case that will just do what cases do, there are a lot of other options out there for a lot less money. I'm JC, and this has been the Key One Holster from Satchel Satchel.